Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, I'm Eric Allen. You have Mike Hi, Ells. Hey, it's me. Uh, Geo Drilling. The one and only. What's up, guys? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, all right. Doing all right. So Actually. Nintendo announced a thing. I hear. Yep, they announced a thing called the Super Nintendo. <laughs> it's the sequel to everyone's favorite console, the Nintendo Entertainment System. It was pretty good. Yep. I'm really looking forward to it. I hear it's 16 bits, which is 20 or twice as many bits as twice as uh, many bits as the Nintendo. So it'll probably be all right. Um, I have I have my hands tonight on some exclusive early games um, that are coming to that system when it releases. Uh, starting with Act Razor. Don't get the people's hopes up, Eric. Yeah. That's not why we're here. No, that's not <laughs> why we're here. So yeah, Nintendo announced their the sequel to the NES classic, the SNES classic. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hope this has... doesn't mean that in in 2018 we're getting an N64 classic because nobody needs that. <laughs> I don't know. Can't you think of your six favorite N64 games that you'd like to play forever? <laughs> yeah, that's N64 classic would be tough because most of the best games for that thing are. Um, I mean, there's a lot, lot of licensed stuff and a lot of Maybe rare stuff that well. I assume that came out on that weird Microsoft Rare collection that came out with all those weird uh, ZX Spectrum games. Um, yep. So, I don't think I'd even want N64 Classic unless they were to up the games and maybe improve the frame rates. If they clean up, uh, some of the fr- some of them don't need the frame rate cleaned up. That like Mario 64 runs at like a locked 30 frames per second. Like, yeah, but that's never, the like, exception and not the rule. Sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. The problem, the problem is you get the Nintendo stuff, and the stuff that Nintendo did with Rare, but not the stuff that Rare did without Nintendo. So like, you would get, you know, <laughs> like Donkey Kong sixty four. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, the world really needs a copy of Donkey and, Kong sixty four right now. Right, right, exactly. Well, and yeah. Like, so the sixty four one racing. would be Mario the Two Zeldas, Diddy Kong Racing. Donkey Kong 64, Space Station, Silicon Valley. Like, as soon as you get past... Star Fox 64. Yeah, Star Fox is pretty good. Um, um, and, I mean, Capcom's been on board for all these, so like maybe They couldn't Resident get any of the too? wrestling games, and they it wouldn't would get be a weird N64 collection without any of those, right? Right. Um, they wouldn't get Beetle Adventure Racing. They right. wouldn't get... No Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo... Banjo-Kazooie Kitubi. or Banjo-Tooie, which I actually um, think both those games suck anyways, but, yeah. I mean... I, there, that would be a drawing point for sure. Yeah, I don't see the I don't Quest see the sixty four happening. That game is Castlevania. Castlevania. There's, there's two Legacy Castlevania. of Darkness. Oh, the, the, all the crappy, yeah. terrible Castlevania, Castlevania sixty four and Legacy of Darkness. Uh, no, no. Let's, let's not even speculate. Shadow that Man, thing. Body Harvest, Blast oh, okay. Core. Bla- oh no, that's another Blast Core. That's a rare game. Blast Core is rare, rare, rare game. It's God on the damn. rare replay collection for Xbox One. Whew. Okay. Yep. God, yeah, Perfect Dark is a rare Man game. Right like, it's just they're just they're, there's nothing. They, the the whole U.S. library is only like 320 games or but something. First, let's go down to the earth and destroy all monsters that may that we may establish a peaceful land for our people to dwell in. So uh, let's. Uh, so, is somebody got the list of the super the games on the Super Nintendo Classic handy? I will have it in a second. I can leave that to Joe, but a lot of them start with the word super. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I, when organizing I that list, it's ninety percent of it is in the S section. Yeah, I think I was gonna say I think half of my. Um, all right, here is the complete list of games. Are you ready, gentlemen? Yeah, do it. Contra Three: The Alien Wars, Donkey cool. Kong Country, Earthbound, okay. Final yeah. Fantasy Three Slash Six, F Zero, yeah, Kirby Superstar, yeah. Kirby's okay. Dream Course. Yeah, I'm interested. Love that Legend game. of Zelda: A Link to the Past. That's maybe sure, the yeah. best game ever made. So, Mega Man X. Pretty yeah. good Mega Man. The Secret of Mana. I love that fun. game too. Star Fox. It's fun. It's, it's a mess, Street, but it's a fun mess. Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting. I think yeah. that's the, the super, correct Street Fighter 2 game for the Super Nintendo. I, yeah, least. I'm really happy yeah, that it's yeah. not the tur- Super Super Turbo. Super. Well, there was no Super There turbo. was no If it was yes. Super Turbo, that would be the one to put on. But there, there's just Super Street Fighter for the Super Nintendo. Okay, yeah, it's not as so good slow. as uh, Turbo. Yeah. It's very slow, yeah. Super Castlevania 4. I'm interested. Super, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Why not? Super Mario Kart. That's Super Mario game. RPG. Cla- Super uh, that's Mario a weird, World. That's a fucking weird game, and I love yeah. it. Yeah. Castlevania Mario World is Mario one of, RPG, another yeah. one of the greatest games of all time. So. 
Yeah. Super, Super Punch-Out Metroid, good. Super yeah. Punch Out, and That's, Super yeah. Mario World. So sorry, Super Mario World Two, Yoshi's Island, and the 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 piece de resistance, which actually might get me to buy this thing. <laughs> Star Fox Two, heretofore unreleased. Star pretty Fox crazy. 2. It's pretty good. That's a pretty good list. Of, I, it, it if you're gonna make a list of no twenty of the best Super Nintendo games, that is a pretty reasonable list. I I will say so. Just as a point of order and being complete on this, the Japanese version does not include Earthbound or Super Castlevania Four. <laughs> and a couple That's others. Let's see what isn't what else others? isn't included on the super. Yeah, but it adds um, Fire Emblem, Mystery of the Emblem, Super Soccer, Panel de Pan, which is um, Touch Attack. attack. I yeah, played that might come up. That might come up later in this stream. Right, <laughs> Gunbari Goyman, Legend of the, people, the Mystical game Ninja. Game. What did you essential. say, Mike? I said I played way more Super Soccer than the average person did, but that game is not essential. It's all right. No. Um, so, um, so my Legend biggest. The mystical. Uh, sorry, and uh, and uh, it just flops out as we were just discussing. It kicks out Street Fighter Two Turbo for Super Street Fighter Two, which yeah. is not a as bad good. Call. Like it has more characters, but they aren't really the characters you want to play. And like Mike said, it's I'm just slower and not as much fun. I'm trying to tell what by looking at this list, which of the ones that we talked about isn't included. Is Super Super Ghouls and Ghosts is gone? The Japanese lineup is worse. The Japanese lineup is worse. I, yeah, I would say. I agree. Especially, you know, but I, mean, it has I don't Tetris care about attack, Super right? Soccer. I don't care yeah, about. Tetris attack. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think it's it's pretty, it is a cool game, even if it's not a great game. Panel de Pawn is not the same as Tetris Attack. It doesn't have, like, the Nintendo branding, I don't think. No, it doesn't. It's different. It's the same, um, like. It's, game, right, it's though. the same match three puzzle thing, but. Right. Um, so. Right. So, so the, okay, the so let's. Thing was, so that's a lot of people were saying 20 that games have... plus a really cool bonus, basically, right. with it's... Star Fox, um, which is 10 less games than the, the NES Classic came with. And it's also 20 more. Yeah, but it's like dollars. five more good games than the NES Classic had. Yeah, but I think, like, uh, I, I think know. you could come up with a list of. Even if you push aside. So, like, so what I wanted to stream tonight was enough games to at least push it to 25 plus a bonus. Like, um, but I think you could. I think you could get to 30 weird interesting or even just 30 like weird curios that you could put on there like if they've got good um fx chip emulation then stunt race fx should be in that collection because Star that's a, FX fucking that game. sucks dude it's that not a good garbage. game but like if they can put the fucking nes version of galaga in the nes classic then there's no reason not to but include i didn't stunt want race. the nes version of galaga on the nes classic yeah but would you rather I have stunt race fx with or 20 nothing? great games than 10 great ones and 20 so-so ones. I don't know. I think Stunt Race FX, like I said, if they have good Super FX emulation, um, but I don't, Mike, I there's don't no think reason that, not to put it on there. I, I don't think and it's, that... And it's an interesting, weird thing that would definitely be worthwhile for people to play for five minutes. Um, yeah. But I don't, I don't think that, that there was, that there were... 20 mediocre games on the NES Classic. Like I'm looking at the list right now, and there's there I said 10. 10 good ones and 20. No, Mike said 10 good ones and 20 mediocre ones. Well, let's say 10 really good ones and 20 that vary between okay and total trash. Right. Like Castlevania 2 is a bad game. Castlevania 2 is not very good. Um, the first Final yeah, like Fantasy is, is like good. kind of unplayable these days. Yeah, that's Im that's it's important. It's a fun game though. to challenge yourself with if you already know how it works. I'm doing so so hot. it's like good for good for me. Not good for a new player. But yeah. there's a lot of stuff that's really, like, I don't know. I, I think that it's probably, like, 20 good games and, like, 10 that oscillate between, like... that's like, an inferior version eh, of Donkey Kong. It is an inferior version of Donkey Kong. It's an inferior version of Galaga. It's a garbage version of Pac-Man. Also, why not Ms. Pac-Man? That's stupid. <laughs> right. Um, if you can get one of those, of Contra is that. weird, but, like... Yeah. But that's the anyway. weird Konami licensing thing that, for some reason, they have almost never re-released Contra. Yeah, I don't so, know what, what's who knows. Up with that, but anyways, so the Super NES Classic, I think the twenty game, the thing interesting thing about about the, is compared to the NES Classic is it's twenty dollars. There were a lot more of games I had. Games. So well, it also weird. comes with a second controller, so you don't have to like hunt down and buy a second controller if you. Which was literally it. impossible. So that's kind of a win. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I also, it's still any it's, in the I world assume probably the, the extra, extra price is probably for the controller. I would assume. It's still four bucks a game, which is like, or no, it's less it's than totally, that. Twenty-one games. Yeah, it's totally right. reasonable. I mean, the Star Fox thing is, but I mean, at the same time, I unless they're going to release another one of these, there's no reason that they could have 
thrown, for instance, say the five games that I'm going to stream tonight, at least three of which they own the rights to. Um, right. It is a little weird that they didn't include more Nintendo Nintendo games. Right. Like, I can see them not getting Actraiser because, God, the rights on that have got to be such a pain. Probably. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, oh, Enix, cause... Square Enix would own them, right? So. Yeah, I mean, they put it on Virtual Console. And so Final Fantasy VI is a good NES. pick, but Chrono Trigger would be a better pick. Um, no, both, both is what you need. Popular. Yeah, both is what yeah. you need. Or And Final Fantasy IV would be nice, too. I mean, that's asking a lot, though, because... Square likes yeah. to re-release those games, and those are still producers for them. Although I don't know about right. Chrono, Chrono Trigger has not received the same uh, level well, it of got, it got a, as uh, it got a DS. Uh, I know. I'm saying it didn't receive the same number uh, or intensity of releases as all the Final Fantasy games have. Well, Final yeah, Fantasy three slash six has actually been almost never re-released. Right. It, it doesn't it have, have all PlayStation the PlayStation collection ports and, that the Final Fantasy four has. Yeah. Um, yeah, that PlayStation collection is not great. No. You want, uh, you, like, three, you want really bad or... load times in your super snappy Super Nintendo RPGs? No, you don't. <laughs> um, uh, but didn't, didn't 6 got a GBA version as well, didn't it, mm-hmm. or didn't it? It got a GBA port, right. um, but like Final Fantasy IV has been remade <laughs> in 3D completely. It's been remade in 2D That's completely true. with like all new artwork everywhere. Um, and it's been ported to every platform under the sun. What was Final it Fantasy remade? Wait, wait, what was it remade? Mobile ports. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, those are, those are shit, though, so who cares? <laughs> shit is being generous. Well, okay. So who cares that Final Fantasy 3 didn't get that? Or 6? No, no, it, it did it get one. I'm... Oh, well, so what's the 2D remake of 4 that you're talking about? The, PS, the PSP one, the uh, complete collection. It's like it was remade with all new sprites, and it has the after years, which apparently sucks, but it's there. Um, does it look good or does it look like shit? It looks okay. It's like a, it's a little bit more, I want to say, Korean MMO looking. Oh, lovely. Like all original... those PSP Final <laughs> Fantasy remakes? It looks a little bit like those, I think, but I would say better. Anyway, I haven't played that version yeah. of it, but like, I'm at least interested to try that one. And and the DS one, which looks really shitty, apparently is fun if you want a really really hard version of that game. Yeah, I played. I I I have it. I've played a bit of it. Um, although that game could have that game could have stood to be made a little harder because really? the original Super oh, the Nintendo original. is easy. Well, if you want the harder version of that, just play the PlayStation port. But it's got those shitty load times you were just talking about. So. Um, the, that one I can tell you from experience <laughs> that it does not actually have much by way of load times. Um, it does not I'm load. Also, I also haven't have played the PlayStation version, so I, okay. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say the PlayStation version does only loads uh, when you save the game to your memory card. So like going in and out of areas is fast, and saving your game is fast in like a what they call a memo save it's like a temporary save so you just have to commit your save to the memory card once in a while and that's the only slow part right. um anyway my feeling on the super nintendo classic is that it's got a really really good line of games i don't think there's a single one on that list that i can look at and say that's crap um which i think is yeah th- pretty that's great. the interesting thing i i think i already own all of them except like one okay besides there's, Star there's, Fox. there's actually a lot on there that i don't own um and like stuff like Kirby's Dream Course that I've been wanting to try for a long time and have never gotten I think never, I own never bought on the virtual those. console. So I yeah, like... own I own all of these in some form or another, except for Star Fox Two, obviously. And no, that's it. Star Fox Two is the only Oh, Earthbound. Star Fox Two and Earthbound are the only games right. on this that I don't own. I think in some form or another. I mean I don't own a copy of Star Fox. I don't really like Star Fox very much. Um, I, I own most of those games, though. Um, and I like all of them, but like I said, I, I'm i not going to buy one for the same reason I didn't buy a NES Classic. It just doesn't... I just don't see the upside for me. Like mm-hmm. I'm never going to play those yeah, games I on mean, TV anyway. Um, right. Yeah, that is the reason why I got an NES Classic, was because it gave me a cool way to play them on my TV. And it has a really nice interface, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they do for the Super Nintendo version. I really hope I can find one. Like, obviously, uh, it's not a given at all that I'm going to be able to find one, even if they're saying they're going to make more. Um, we're going to see. I don't think that nostalgia runs as hot for the Super NES as it does for the NES, though, honestly. I, I want to agree with you, because I want to get one of these, but I'm not sure. <laughs> People seem very excited. 
Yeah. And everyone saw how impossible it was to get an NES Classic, so there's a chance that people will just buy one of these, even if they're not super into it, just because they have the chance to. So, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's possible, but... Um, what I really hope is that scalpers buy a whole bunch of them and they produce enough that the scalpers have to end up selling them at a loss because yeah, that would be awesome. That doesn't seem like that. If they're only going to produce them until uh, next year, then January that seem or whatever, like yeah. They, yeah. I don't know. It makes me hmm. sad that Nintendo has such a like. I understand the short production run since they obviously have to pay for rights. Maybe that also is why they have to cap how many they make as well. Maybe they're just like, we're gonna give you the rights to these games to make a few. Hundred that, that's thousand probably movies. true. They probably. Yeah. Can but if you're making like, money hand hand over fist, then just go to Capcom and be like, we'll give you more money to keep making these. Yeah, I don't know. You know what but I mean? the re- like, apparently the reason why they stopped making the NES uh, Classic was because they wanted to use their production facilities to make more switches basically yeah i can't and to crank out this thing for christmas time i can't believe that sure. they can't find another place in china that can fart out some <laughs> right, raspberry can... pies with emulators on them for 80 for 60 dollars but um, apparently I don't, this is one of those parts that are you that are used by a lot of phone manufacturers so uh, they're they're in high demand sure. by apple and samsung that makes sense this is one of those fuck nintendo kind of things where nintendo's just doing it because they can can i think um, well, sure. I, I can't been. really argue. Anyway, I will say that 20 great games is cool. Um, I think that there's probably another 10 great games on the system that they could have had, and then like another 15 just interesting ones. So, like, actually, yeah. actually, actually, for me, is one of the great Super Nintendo games. I agree 100%. I really like that. That's why it's the first I, on my list here. It, it's also yeah. like one of the well, definitive early Super Nintendo games. And yeah. just one of the weirdest, like, like this game as it is, as you've seen me play through the the two D side scrolling, um, the Rastin sections, right portion of it. And then there's this weird thing where you play as a naked cherub that shoots bats <laughs> and directs people to build. So it has a weird strategy element, and it's just, it's a super bizarre game that is a uh, kind of totally unique. Um, so, sorry, are we just grinding at this point, or because you you can't direct them to seal the? Mo- it's been a minute since I played this. You can't direct them to seal to the monster them to build yet. I, or... I can't remember why I can't make them build right now. Joe, Actraiser is a game that is best played on an emulator with a speed up button. I learned that <laughs> the hard time way. I played, last time I played it was right after the Wii came out. I got it on Virtual Console because yeah. it was one of the early Virtual Console games, and I replayed the whole thing. Yeah. Then also. Fuck the final boss rush in this game. That is some bullshit. Yeah, it's some bullshit. Well, it just involves you using your magic a lot and then hoping you get a good run on the last boss. Pretty much. Right. Yeah. Right. But, yeah, you have, you have to get great. to him with a lot of health and then. With a lot of health. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, this uh, game's really good. Act Razor Two is also is also pretty good. Not Act Razor Two is not. Act, as... Act Razor Two is a very beautiful game, but it's not as much fun or as interesting. It's more just, isn't it? I think it kind of eliminates a lot of the strategy. It eliminates stuff. the building. The, yeah. it, it completely eliminates the yep. building and strategy sections, doesn't it? I, yep. I think. Um, also, this is a rare case where I think the U.S. box art is actually a lot more appealing than the Japanese box art. <laughs> yeah, I picked the Japanese box art uh, because it is it's, vertically it oriented, it's so it very works better yeah. with uh, my layout. But anyway, that's that's some Act Razor. I think I'm gonna switch it up here. Um, What's your yeah, next? Game? Act, Act Razor was developed by uh, Quintet, Quintet, the people behind, who were also behind uh, Soul Blazer. Yeah, right. Terra Soul Enigma, Blazer, Illusion of Terra Gaia. Enigma, Illusion Soul of Gaia. Blazer, Terra Enigma, Illusion of Gaia. Those are also games that could very easily be on that thing um i mean actually yeah, I was, if, if they officially put out terra enigma in the u.s on that that would be that something would be first, that would right? make me want to buy one because um, right. it, it came out in europe so there is an english translation of it that well like all the legwork is done um and illusion of gaia i think nintendo actually published that they might have that sounds that sounds, sounds about right so let me double back. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they did. And Illusion of Gaia is actually like a, it's not quite as good as, it's not nearly as good as Legend of Zelda and it's not quite as good as Secret of Mana, but it's like a, it's like a, a second it tier level down level um, uh, overhead of, action adventure game um, with uh, a real like melancholy story and some really 
cool that pig uh, sacrifices itself so, so that you can it, live he does so it was it was published in japan by quintet or sorry by enix in japan but uh, in north america europe and australia nintendo published okay uh, i like act razor oh, sorry i like illusion of gaia well enough uh, i tried playing terranigma when it finally was released like via emulator and i thought it was really boring okay yeah, I, I actually liked it quite a bit, but I like I like Illusion of Gaia the most of those three games. Um, Soul Blazer. I never played Soul Blazer. Soul Blazer is weird. It's it is a, it is a super super early game, and it plays and um, is structured as such. Isn't it a little bit like East in that you just like move your dude around and bump into enemies? Uh, no, you walk and slash uh, with your sword, but your the range on your sword is really short, and the levels are like quarantined off in a really weird way. Um, you oh, should check it out at some point. It's it's like it's it's fun enough, but and there is kind of a real dearth of that style of game, and that's a it's a decent one. But Illusion of Gaia is, I think, the treasure of that series, in my opinion. Um, so another game so, that I think this is so this is not my dream list of my 30 Super Nintendo games that I would put on this. Now, thing. if you want to hear that, we did a podcast. We did a, a draft, yeah, a few years ago. Um, oh, but a game. I'm so happy with how my so list turned out in the draft. Act Razor should be on that thing, and Donkey Kong Country 2 should be on that thing because this is the creme de la creme of the Donkey Kong Country series. I know some people hate those games. Um, and I don't particularly like the series, but I think oh, but if you're the gonna second have one, one is the best. Right. Yeah, the second one is like hands down the Coffee best. said coffee subway update. <laughs> Coffee's on the subway. He's on his way home. Um, so, yeah, the first Donkey coffee Kong Country, said, I, am I home was now obs- eating a sandwich. <laughs> I was obsessed with Donkey Kong Country before it came out. Um, like I wrote poetry about it for like wow. my writing class in sixth grade, and um, we had. Is that because you received the VHS? Know, fifth grade, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I got the VHS tape because I was a Nintendo Power subscriber, and that game was all over the fucking place in Nintendo Power, and it looked really cool. Like I'd never seen any anything that had looked like that before. The the digi- digitized graphics, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> were a lot better in screenshots than they actually were in motion but um i still thought now they've 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 aged so poorly yeah Uh, i mean in some cases i think i still think the donkey Kong country games look totally fine um part of the reason they've aged poorly is unlike a lot of other sprite art they don't up res very well like they look they could in theory (laughs) right you'd have to have if you remade the game (laughs) to make that work i don't know if those assets still exist but it's an american game so they might maybe yeah it's a british game well, yeah, actually british, well right. sorry it's a western game i guess yeah. i could say it just i'm just saying that because all the japanese games they, they threw away all the original assets but i think they weren't quite so bad about that in the west yeah uh, um, i don't well, know I mean, like because like if you you look at the uh, the piece of art that i have on the sidebar here um like if the game actually looked like that it's a little <laughs> it's a little fucked up in early 90s in its style but it's still right. like if, if it was it's that sharp it would look Good. Looks like looks like it yeah. came out of one of those mind's eye VHS tapes of like it, like you know it's like thirty minutes of computer yeah. animation short films. Yeah, these games <laughs> these games definitely shine the most on a uh, on a CRT TV. Yeah, which kind of blurs them. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that really helps the art style a lot. I think, like I said, I think the Donkey Kong Country games obviously hold up the best. Like like Time Cop and. Um, <laughs> the likes of Time Cop or I don't Mortal remember Kombat. how to charge. Mortal Kombat looks or okay, Pit but like Killer Instinct looks real rough these days. Killer um, Instinct looks yeah, Pit Fighter bad. looks real bad. Was there uh, ever a lot? To Batman Forever oh, is a real fucking ass ugly game. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, but yeah, I really I like all the secrets in these games. Like I said, Donkey Kong Country Two is far and away the best one. The Donkey Kong Country Three is kind of trash actually um diddy and dixie is the the nicest mix of uh abilities i think <clears throat> you're not into the heavyweight to yeah i mean donkey kong really is just like in donkey kong country you just play as diddy kong all the time because he's just better than donkey kong um but dixie is similarly mobile but she has the uh, the helicopter hair which is really useful in some of the trickier um platforming levels but i really i love the the soundtracks in these games are really good too unfortunately i don't think this first level actually has any music so 
Um, yeah, is Grant it a uh, yeah, yeah, Grant Kirkhope. Yep. And uh, what's his name? Wise. Wise. David Wise. Yeah, David Wise. Yeah. Um, you right can always tell David Wise has extremely distinct sounding music, like especially his work on the NES. Yeah. Like when you hear David Wise NES or Game Boy music, you're immediately like, that is definitely David Wise. Yeah, it's like, really there's something about his music. What does he do on the NES? I, I'm more familiar uh, with RC Pro Am. Nightmare on Elm Street, RC Pro Am, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Elm Street. the wrestling, the the wrestling games that Rare did, uh, WrestleMania and WrestleMania Challenge. <laughs> Um, WrestleMania, man. Whew. WrestleMania, the, but those games both have really good music. Yes. Right? Like, the, the, the versions of, like, and, like, WrestleMania 1 has, like, um, the Strike Force theme in it for some reason, even though neither of those guys is in the game, but, like, music sounds really good. Um, and then similarly, well, actually, I think Nightmare on Elm Street is a game that is, like, unfairly shat upon. I don't think it's nearly as bad as a lot of people say it is. It's not horrible. It's really it is a good. totally as a game that you can play with your multi tap. Um, yeah, it's also players. like the only four player action game yeah. on the <laughs> system. So it's pretty cool um, for that. I know those four players. Yeah, yeah. four player. But it's like perfectly cromulent, even as like a is it's a it's a middling two mm. D side scrolling action thing. I think it's a little yeah, worse than middling, but it's you can play it. It's fine. It's, it's better it, than Jaws, I think. Jaws gets tedious really fast. Yeah, I would say Jaws is good, but it functions. Jaws has that boat. It's pretty cool. Is it bigger? <laughs> the thing about Jaws is like it's like it, it's like level grinding the game, because like there's only two places you can go between, and you literally just have to grab grind levels until you can beat Jaws, and like that's the yeah. whole game. And it once you get how to do it, it takes like I, yeah. 15 minutes. It has been a long, long time since I played that game. I just remember being kind of surprised that it functioned. <laughs> like you can, you can play it. You can get to the end. You can win. It's true. Oh yep. man, I keep missing those ropes. Anyway, that's not Young Country Two. I think, like I said, honestly, there's very no there's there's no reason that Donkey Kong Country Two and Three aren't included on that thing. Like I said, unless right. they're planning on doing a second one. I think. That, well, actually, I think they're, they're in the same category as Stunt Race FX. Is even though Donkey Kong Country Three isn't very good, it should just be there. Like there's considering no Rare's involvement, maybe they had to shell out licensing fees of some kind. Maybe I don't think so. I think Nintendo just owns all these games. They might. Um, yeah, because again, they were on. I mean, I guess in Virtual Console, you're getting eight bucks a hit instead of eighty bucks for you know twenty hits or whatever, twenty one. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think that I think they just own Donkey Kong because otherwise, why wouldn't Rare have put this stuff on Rare Replay? I, I, I suppose unless it's a weird well, Batman each TV series it, situation, right, where they each own part of it. I don't know. I'm not saying that's the case, but I agree with you that it, it is one of the more mystifying things. Like, come on, guys, you could just put this game in and yeah. Um, so next up, play a little Tetris Attack, which um, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Um, with uh, obviously the Japanese version is getting paneled upon, which is Tetris Attack without all the weird Nintendo branding stuff on it. Now, no one here is surprised that we're not getting Tetris Attack. I right? mean, couldn't they just I'm like Photoshop no. the T into like L and call it Letris Attack or Natris <laughs> Attack or something and just put it on there? Because there's it has no connection to Tetris other than the name, or just cr- like put a line through it so it just says Attack. Is there nothing um, in the game that? that... Nope. There's nothing There's in the game nothing that is Tetris, Tetris related at all. It's all Nintendo characters, uh, mostly like I think Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island characters for the most part. Like yeah. Poochie is in this game, and um, I don't know. I I fucking love this game. I like this and OG Tetris and Puzzle Fighter are like I think top three puzzle games for me. And I don't know, but Puzzle Bobble Tetris Battle Puzzle, Puzzle Bobble fits in there. Yeah, Battle Tetris Guide N is a game that. Um, obviously, it would be a very tricky game to get the rights to, but that's something oh, that yeah, they sure. could throw on there, and that would make me want to buy one. Uh, but that obviously is not going to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, Tetris Attack is great, man. Subway Coffee said, "Wait for the N64 <laughs> Classic when they have Pokemon Puzzle League." All right, yeah, fine. That I'd be totally into that. Could they call this like Attack League or something? I don't know. Yeah, it seems like they should have like come that. up with a workaround with this game, or uh, just reskin it as like a as like a Pokemon. That's a lot of work. I they guess. They don't even have to reskin it. They just literally all they have to do is remove the word Tetris from the title, and they could put this on there. Um, 
Uh, Are you still going is... in alphabetical order? Uh, yep. Is there nothing between A and T that you no. wanted to have? I mean, this? this is the five games that I think should should be on the the thing. Um, like I said, if if it was my dream list, like Chrono Trigger would be there, obviously. For sure. I think that's my favorite Super Nintendo game. Um, it's definitely the one that I look at and say, "Man, you guys, you know, come on, that yeah. that needed to be there." I think I think that is the I think it is not only my favorite, but I also think it's the best Super Nintendo game. Um, it's the best Japanese RPG on a system that was known for great Japanese RPGs and. There are things yeah. I like better about Final Fantasy VI. Like I think that's more my game, but Chrono Trigger is the one that's the most polished and the most accessible for someone who picks it up today. And like you say, like they will never find a better Japanese RPG. Yeah, to it's play. just so well balanced. Everything is and just... the great, great pacing and just the art, the music. It's all like super strong. Yep. And anyway. it's not too long. Yeah, it's Chrono Trigger. Yeah, awesome. great, great length. That's Tetris Attack. I don't need to play a ton of it. If you've never played it. Yeah. Like, you should fucking get your hands on it some way. Like Coffee said, yeah, or... um, <laughs> Tetris, uh, or P- Pokemon, Pokemon Puzzle is a very good one of these. They're all basically the same match three thing, but... Um, and the, the multiplayer is great. Setting up combos in this game is... Like, like there's like a, a difficulty curve in puzzle games um, where Tetris for me is at the bottom. Like, Tetris is the easiest game to pick up and get decent yeah, at leave and room Poyo for a Poyo line. is at the top of that um, Fuck, yeah, for me because I, I can't understand. I cannot yeah I cannot make decent um, chains in Poyo Poyo to save my life um, uh, but this game is like somewhere in between it's a little more complicated than Tetris because you need to set things up higher on the board and make chains um, but they're much easier to set up than in Poyo Poyo yeah, Puyo Puyo is ridiculous. Yeah, I like it a lot, but it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, high level Puyo Puyo, Puyo Puyo is incomprehensible to me. Kind of weird that uh, Kirby's Avalanche isn't on. Yeah, that's a good one. They definitely could put that on here. Or Wario's Woods, even though I don't like Wario's Woods, but like, it's weird that it's not on there. I guess, kind of. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I I honestly looking at this list, I feel like they wanted to choose quality over quantity. Which I don't know, maybe sure. not the best approach, but the weird but thing about weird. okay, but why? Why? Okay, so I know Eric's gonna yell at me, and I hmm. want to preface this with I like Kirby's Dream Course a lot. Fuck off, Joe. Kirby's but Dream Course why... is the one weird, interesting pick that they put on the thing. It is, but why that instead of Dreamland Three? Because it's better than Kirby's Dreamland Three. Isn't also... Superstar just kind of like Dreamland, but and Superstar is like weird. I mean, th- th- that's another one. Why? Why aren't all three games on there? Right. Put all three Donkey Kong countries. Put Stunt Race FX on there. Put Kirby on there. So I can tell you why this game that you're about to play isn't on there. Oh man, I, I fucking love this game. Subway Coffee s- said, "Fuck you, Joe. Kirby's Dream Course is the best game." <laughs> He's Coffee's right. Coffee knows what's up. Kirby's Dream Course is. I like Super Kirby's Nintendo Dream games. Course. We uh, played it the la- like the last time you were at my house or two times ago. Um, but this game, they got sued by Pixar. <laughs> oh, the Be- time. Because because the unicycle looked too much like the unicycle in a Pixar short film. Uh-huh. That is why look like unicycles, as it turns out. Yeah. So this right. is, and that is why this game will never be re-released ever. It's because... Too bad, because this is a great game. Also, from the fine people at DMA Design, who also brought you Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto, and Manhunt. Yep. Nice. Yeah. More stunts. Give you bigger boosts. Yeah, I'm not stunting very well. I forgot how to roll. I'm doing it now. Bigger boosts. Give you more speed. Roll, 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 yeah. roll. Well, this is just roll. a flat track. It's just a. <laughs> if you try to flip here, you just end up landing on your seat and losing. Ugh. Loser. I hate it when I land in my seat. Yeah. Anyway, I love Dune Racers. You're right. That there is a good reason why this isn't on there, but this is a game Nintendo owns. No, that's there... a pretty bad reason, but it's an understandable one. Yeah. Is there... Man, it's too bad. Can't they... I don't know. I guess... Um, they could make a sequel where they just change the way it looks, right? For Switch? Yeah, I don't know. How that do you make good. a unicycle not look like a unicycle? I don't know. Put some <laughs> fucking eyes on it or something. <laughs> yeah, put some googly eyes on it. Then Rare could sue them, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> we have go- we've cornered the mark on googly <laughs> yeah. eyes. Um, uh, yeah. So I'm guessing this means that you skipped everything between A and U at this point. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm actually surprised that... You, that 
The Turtles in Time was not on your list. Of... Um, well, so Nintendo owns this yeah, game. Yeah. I forgot about the lawsuit thing, right. but you're right. Like, this was the games, like I said, that sh I felt should have been on there. And Turtles in Time is another licensing thing. But, I mean, Turtles yeah. in Time is the best brawler on that system. So it definitely is worthy of a spot. Um, I don't know. Like, that Like that game is no lot was an Xbox Live release that is not on the service anymore for some reason. Yeah, but it was a shitty, garbage-ass remake of an Xbox Live release. <laughs> um, Dude, I'm the the, re, the reshelled version. I don't know if you've ever played it. Next time you're here, so, we no. can play it if you want to fucking witness it. But it it's is bad. fucking garbage. It's really bad. It, bad. The problem is, some it the, takes some a two D really brawler. Pretty good, right? Like the X Men one and this. Was there a Simpsons the, one too that was okay? The X Men, X Men, Simpson, and Ninja First Ninja Turtles because those were all just like emulations of the arcade games. But Turtles in Time, they actually, like, Ubisoft remade it in 3D. And, like... Oh, that's a nightmare, just, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it sucks. Okay. Yes, I do know that one. That, that was, like, an XPLA that. thing. Yeah. yeah, it was... Well, they all were, but, yeah. Um, and, like, you can... You can... Like, the problem with that one is that... So, in, in 2D... Classic 2D brawlers, when you move up and down, generally your character remains facing to the left or the right, right? They, your character doesn't turn and walk upwards. But when they remade it in 3D, they made it so that the characters do, like they do walk upwards, and like you can walk up and down, and it really messes with like your ability to, to to engage with the enemies and stuff, and like the stage designs are not very well like honored, and they, they didn't include the extra stages from the Super Nintendo version, which seems dumb, and like it's just, I don't know, it's, it's stupid. It's yeah, no, it, it looks like a, a trash fire. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to say, if you're skipping all the ones between A and U, uh, one of my picks, of course, would be Cybernator, which is one of my favorite Cybernator is super dope. Yeah, that's another game that definitely could would be worthy of. That's Konami, and there's Contra on this, so I don't think there's any like real hurdle why they couldn't get it. It's true. Uh, Wasn't that one actually... Wait, is that the one that was actually developed by like LucasArts or something, though? Or am I no, thinking that, that's part? a different game. That's Metal... Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, Storm? Right. No. Uh, Metal, Metal Storm War. is the Nintendo game with a gravity switch. Metal, uh, Metal Warriors. Metal say. Warriors. Oh, NCS developed Cybernator, though. It was just published by Konami in the US. Okay, well, fine. I love the way the unicycles anyway, look. It's a really, really good game. Um, there's really not yeah. a lot of action games like it. No. Uh, it's definitely weird. That's the one with the mech, right? I'm yes. I'm yeah. sure thinking of the yep. right game. Yep. Yeah, Cybernator yeah. is really fun. Um, plays really great. Like it's like the the way that the weapon cooldowns work is really weird, and the way it integrates the story stuff. Right? Isn't there like like as you're walking around and shooting things, there are like people shouting at you. Yeah, there's all there's all kinds of story stuff going on. Uh, you're you know making friends with weird strangers and fighting dudes. And uh, in the Japanese version, some guy kills himself, but they took that out of the North American release. Uh, you can't handle that shit. So. Poverty Game Night says there is no reason to re-release Unirasers because the story printed in the manual is the best part. No, the best part Which is playing know. it. The story in the manual is fantastic. I've, we've definitely talked about that on a stream before with Alexis, I think. Either that or a podcast. Yeah. Um, Subway Coffee is here. Hey, what's up, Coffee? I'm here to tell you how many people fucking asked me if the SNES Classic was on sale today. <laughs> was it on sale for like half price? I'd take one at half price. <laughs> Coffee, can you put one of those aside for me? I don't want. Do, them, how many Sonic I just want to ask have. you a really annoying question. Yeah. Is Mario 64 on there? I'm going to burn the place down, <laughs> and no one's going to get them. These are not threatened to burn down your place of employment. Yeah, that's not screen. good. Yeah, that was a mistake. He's just joking. But yeah, it's uh. Lol. Whoop. Anyway. Uh, all right, so other games between A and U. Uh, well, uh, Evo. Evo is a really yeah. Evo's a good pick. I thought about that one for sure. That's another one that's you know it's more unique and interesting. That's hard to great. yeah. As I say, that's hard to make an argument though that like it, it's, it's not, not it's especially not well remembered. It's not yeah. I, it's, I, it's I well remember it very right? well, and it's it's remembered one by of the people the who played it, fucking but things. not yes. a lot of people. That's played why it should it. be on the collection. It's well remembered by right. everyone who played it. I mean, it's a cult. It's a cult game. Right. That's, there I, are not actually, a lot of those on this thing. That would be, the, yeah, that would actually be the reason why I would want to see it put on the the collection, right? Is because not a lot of people played it, and this would be and a it's good super unique and weird. To put it in there, yeah. 
like give people a chance to see what it's all about. Yeah, what else is well? Obviously, uh, one of my favorites is uh, UN Squadron, but that's a licensing yeah, nightmare. That's so. a licensing nightmare, totally. That's a great game, though. <laughs> oh, uh, I would Demon's yeah. Crest. I think would be yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On there. On list for sure. That's one that there probably isn't any reason why it couldn't have been there, right? No, I think no. it's just it wasn't popular enough for them. <laughs> Similar to Evo, like well remembered by people who played it, but there's a lot of people who never played it. So probably a little um, better than Evo. Evo is an interesting game, but it's also super clunky. Well, Demon's Crest is legit one of my favorite Super NES games, so I, I you know, but I, I understand that it's It's not a great game for sure. Like, super well known. Uh, I really like Super Double Dragon, but I'm not familiar with that one. Um, it's I mean, the thing about that is the Japanese version is like markedly better than the than the American version. Um, but I don't, I mean, I think there's probably a licensing nightmare involved there, too, because I don't really know. I guess the Double Dragon IP now rests with um, Arc System Works, I guess. So maybe they it's not it? that much of a nightmare. Yeah, they bought all of the... So when Technos went under, Million took all their IP, and then Million, recent, like last year or a year and a half ago, sold all their the IP to one. Arc System Works. Oh, there we go. Um, so speaking of Lucas Arts games yeah, published by Konami, uh, so yeah, you uh, you and Squadron actually would have been probably in that top four to round it to twenty five. Except, like Mike said, it's kind of a nightmare. So, oh yeah, um, for sure. I left that off for the same reason I left Turtles in Time off. But um, since there's two controllers, and this would be a good opportunity to get people to play really good, really weird games that they probably didn't play when they came out. How about a little Zombies Ate My Neighbors? I think that this would have been yeah. a good game to put on there. Yeah. This is, this is a fantastic game. Yeah. I've never played Zam, I don't think. Really? I missed it when it was new, and I don't think I ever fired it up in an emulator. Oh, yeah, shit, it's really dude. cool. It's, it is a great co-op game, uh, in my opinion. Um, it's it's a great co-op game, and I just love the like very. Um, it's pretty wacky. It's a little. It has a '50s monster movie aesthetic, but it also like references more recent monster list movies. With all the blockbuster games. I love it. <laughs> um, you know, like it it like a lot of the there's regular ass zombies, and then there's like there's you know slime, and but then there's also weird stuff like giant babies and mm -hmm. murderous dolls, and the art know, in this game is really fantastic yeah yeah it um, really is i don't know is this have you ever played the genesis version joe are they pretty much the same i have uh they're very similar okay um they're the genesis version it has uh, the radar is easier to keep up without it it doesn't like because there's like a black sidebar kind of on the genesis version i think if i'm remembering correctly yeah. so you can have the radar up without it just like taking up a bunch of screen real estate um and there's one one has a weapon that's not in the other one, and I'm trying to remember which which version has it. Um, let's see here. Um, but I think they both have all the same stages, and they're they're very close to identical. Um, but there again, there's like one one weapon that is like not a very common weapon either. Um, Ouch. I think it's the flamethrower. Ah. And I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember if I remember using that or not, because that would tell me which. Uh, it's the Super it Nintendo is. version. Super Nintendo version has a flamethrower, which is not in the Genesis version. Um. But yeah, it, like like I said, this is just another this is another one of those weird games that like Evo and Kirby's Dream Course, which honestly, like if Kirby's Dream Course wasn't on the list of officially included things, that would have been in my top four games to include. I fucking love Kirby's Dream Course. It's also, a, that's also a game that's really fun to play two players. Um, I look forward to giving it a try if I can get one of these things. Yeah. So, so I'm definitely in. Joe sounds like a maybe and Eric sounds like a no. Yeah, I just... Like, I own all the games, so if I really wanted to play them on original hardware, I can make that happen, and mm -hmm. I'm totally fine playing them on an emulator, so... There's actually um, quite a few that I don't own in any format. The Star Fox 2 thing is really cool. Like, Star I think Fox that's a, that is a great ad. Um, it kind of helps make up for the fact that it's not necessarily a great... Um, 
a great deal in my opinion, but I don't yeah, know. I, don't, I just, um, I just, I, I, I just, it, I, I'm not it, like it feels like with the NES Classic they established that like 30 games is the right number of games to put on there, and yeah. then they went, they didn't mind just go like a little bit lower. They went is about the right number. They went a lot <laughs> lower. Which is kind of a bummer, um, but like like you said, I forgot I, did, I I forgot that they added a second controller, so that's probably why it costs more, um, less to do with the games. But and Nintendo just can't let go of the idea that games are you know a game from 20 years ago is worth more than a game from 23 years ago, yeah. right? That's that's that was the way it was on the Wii, and then and I don't think they're ever going to get over that mentality. For them, a Super Nintendo game is worth more. And technically, I kind of agree with them, but I don't know that it makes a lot of business sense. Yeah, or I mean, I or I would have been fine with it if if the NES, I don't know, whatever. There just doesn't seem to be it doesn't seem to be good good reason to do it that way, unless, like I said, they were going to do more of these, and then it would make more sense to me. Um, yeah. I would. Uh, Poverty Game Night says. He thinks the good weird games people haven't played make more sense as part of the Switch subscription thing. Sure, absolutely. which is also a thing. I mean, I don't. Nece- I think they're different markets, right? So I don't necessarily think this is like eating their own lunch or whatever. You know, eating snake eating its own tail. Um, but I am actually still really curious about that and how that ends up materializing and what sort of depth of selection that service eventually yields. Yeah, I hope it's not crappy. It's probably going to be pretty crappy to start with. Oh, I'm sure that it's going to be like a drip at the beginning. Like they've already said that like the first month there's only going to be like three games, right? Like yeah, so. it's like Balloon Fight is one of them. I mean, they've only announced three, but that basically means there it's will be Balloon, exactly balloon three. Fight, Doctor Mario, and Mario Three. I want to say, Oof. um, which like I mean, I, mean, I really like good, all of those games. <laughs> you know, Doctor Mario is great. Especially if they do manage to implement online co-op stuff for all that stuff like they talked about, that would be really yeah. good. Well, that's supposed to be the selling point, right? Is... Yeah. So, like, online well, Dr. Mario is, you is need pretty the service dope. to play online games. Right. I'm, just, I'm glad it's not going to be really expensive. I think if they were aiming for 50 bucks a year, it would probably be a total ripoff. I'm still probably gonna wait until I really need it before I sign up because if they I mean, do start... 20, 20 bucks a year is pretty... Yeah. cheap for that yeah but i'm but i'm sure it's going to take them six months to get anything resembling a decent amount of games on there for well the, for i mean like you said like i mean if, if if i can play balloon fight online theoretically then like that's worth uh what is that like? uh balloon fight online is not worth Buy, anything to me but dr mario a month. online yeah dollar 80 a month there you go yeah balloon fight online is worth zero dollars to me um, Why are you giving exactly. Balloon Fight hater? No, I'll man. play Balloon Fight online. Because Balloon Fight is just worse joust. Because he no, can't no. play. No, Balloon can't Fight play is in fact Tor better joust. No, yeah, I'm with Joe on this one. Why, why one would of those games able... has ostrich riders, and one of those games is shitty balloons. So. Why would you oh, play? One of those games is fun, and one of those games is joust. So. Why would you play Balloon Tour online multiplayer? I, I single mean, player game. Also, I don't really like joust that much. Sure. Either. To be honest, but um, mm-hmm. I don't know. Doctor Mario seems cool. I don't know what. I guess you play co-op Mario Three. I don't know what the online functionality for that looks like. Yeah, you just trade off online with people. I, I want them to. There is. Release a, people. Sorry, go ahead. You, you had to drink that monster potion before before we I, end the stream. I was gonna say I want them to release Mega Man Three with it. online functionality, so player two can just hold down the right button and make player one invincible. Well, so that game yep. had um, that weird. Uh, that game had that weird co-op or not co-op, that weird competitive Mario Bros. thing in it. Remember? Yeah, it did. So That's true. I guess you can play that online co-op. I don't know. Um, how do I drink the monster potion, Joe? I can't. I thought it was. Oh, there it is. How do I use? There we go. I say it's just in your inventory, isn't it? No, it's it's a different piece. Look at that. It turned into a fucking cool ass monster. Um, that was probably a waste of that, really. But oh, it definitely was a waste. We're, we're gonna like, end the stream. Seems like we're minutes, winding so. this down. So, yeah. so the uh, Super NES Classic. I don't know. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of great games. Um, but... You can punch holes in walls too. I think with that. Yeah, there we go. No skull jagger. That's disappointing. <laughs> the nerve no no alfred chicken these motherfuckers um but there's a lot of stuff on there 
that just doesn't make any sense to me that it's not on there. That, I'll, that's I'll the let biggest my boss thing know to, to put Plock on the next one. Oh, Plock. Fucking Plock, man. Why isn't that on there? Um, anyway, so there's there's five games that they could have added. Um, like I said, it would have been super easy for them to go to 25 without costing them anything, just by putting Stunt Race and the other two Donkey Kong Country games. Um, I don't know why you think Stunt, stunt Race, stunt race, race. Be easy. <laughs> huh? I don't know why you want it. I, I'm seriously happier that it's not on there. Nah. That game just, just makes me because it's sad. a weird curio that most people have never experienced. Um, most people, as you can just tell them, like, hey, people, you've never experienced, like, a pretty bad Miyamoto game, but, like, here's one for you. <laughs> just so you know, it can happen. So it can happen. You can make a Don't pretty get bad your hopes game. hopes up for whatever's coming after it's Mario Galaxy. It's a racing game on the Super Nintendo, you guys. Oh, it's so bad. And it's, like, worse than all the 2D racing games on the Super it's Nintendo. Not, it's oh, not Top Gear 2, that's the game I want. That's, Which one? Top Gear 2? How about Super Motherfucking Off-Road? Well, I have an the, Iron Man Stewart Super Off Road. One that has four players. Yeah, but the Super uh, Nintendo one has way Nintendo? more tracks. And I don't. I think the Super Nintendo one also has four players, doesn't it? I thought. I think we've had. We tried to play it four players one time, and found that you couldn't. And I and I looked into it, and I want to say that uh, only the NES version check. has four player support. I'm gonna check. Let's check real quick. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm looking. You might be right, Mike. Uh, I, this, the Super Nintendo version does have a better track selection, though. I mean, it looks it has, better. It has twice the number of tracks, in fact. Yeah. It has, all, like, all the arcade tracks, I think. Um, not that the NES version of Super Off-Road is bad. It's totally fine. I mean, it's pretty good for what it is, but yeah, you, you've, you've seen what there is to see before too long. But four players, that's what matters. Uh, I mean, obviously, for Dreaming, NBA Jam for four players would be Looney sweet. Tunes V-Ball? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no takers on that one. No, I think I'm good on that. that that's a fun game, though. For, I think that's for players. I had an interesting observation when the NES Classic came out was that the list of Nintendo games that I love is, like, NES games that I love is kind of short, but the list of NES games that I'm interested in and just want to dabble with from time to time is super long. Mm -hmm. And, like, the Super Nintendo is the opposite. There's a pretty thick list of games that I think are absolutely great and still hold up really well today, but there aren't as many overall that I'd like to play as there were on the NES. Um, the NES is just like know. a home for so many weird ideas and like strange... No one kind of knew what they were doing. It's and so a lot easier with NES games to just take a small bite from a game and get what it's about and then move on than it is than a Super Nintendo game. How about the I, Lost Vikings yeah, and Blackthorn? What? Those are all right. I, I'm not sure right. I agree with what you just said before that, but uh, what's that? The like take a bite out of the game, and I mean, I feel like a lot of NES games are good for. I'm going to play this for five minutes. Yeah, and yeah, it's no, be that's cool. what I'm talking about. The NES oh, okay. games are like that. Yeah. Super Nintendo games, you kind of have to put a little more time into to uh, to get stuff out of them. Super Nintendo ones are deeper and better, but sometimes you just want a game that's kind of fun and cool for a few minutes, and then you move on to the next thing. Like, so I can't. I can't tell if the Super NES version, like what, Earthworm Jim, they could have put those on there. D um, so the arcade version of Off Road had three players. The NES version added a fourth player. I can't find anything that reliably tells me if what what was up with the Super Nintendo version. <laughs> well, all I can tell you is that one year I'm I'm almost certain that we tried to get a four player game of that going and were very disappointed. And then later. Like a year ago, we played the NES version four players because that one does work. That was like two years ago, but yeah, um, yeah, a year and a half, whatever, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, Mortal Kombat two would be a good one, but there's no way they'd put an M-rated game on that thing. I'm yeah. kind of surprised. Like, yeah, it's Harvest not family Moon. friendly, but it is a big game that people remember. So, yeah. I don't know. I guess they didn't want to lose their like T for teen rating. Joe and Mac would have been an interesting thing to put on there, just because. Had a giant good. Tyrannosaurus Rex sprite that blew my mind when I was six. Oh Joe my god, Mac, you had a Super Nintendo when you were six? Not when I was six. You're when so I was, old. I don't know, whatever. What year did the Super Nintendo come out? 91? 91? So 92. I probably would have been like 10 or 11 when I played Joe and Mac. Joe and Mac is a totally middle of the road platformer, but it's kind of fun. 
Uh, yeah, Ken Griffey Jr. would have been a cool addition. I know that would be a tough thing for the licensing, but uh, that's a thing that Nintendo owns. So they could have given Ken Griffey Jr. a few thousand dollars. And So there uh, are four cars on the tracks. I'm looking at some gameplay footage. There are four cars on the tracks, but... Right. Well, they're AI-controlled. Right, they're AI-controlled, like and I don't know... Lufia 2? Can you just look it up on Co-Optimus, Joe? I... I... Sure. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you how to do your job, but your prime source for co-op gaming. Okay, it's, sure. You've never heard of Co-Optimus before? Guess not. It's pretty cool. Michael Jordan Adventure in the Windy City would have been a really chaos. Weird... Chaos in the Windy City. Sorry, chaos on. in the Windy City. That game is actually surprisingly good. I think it's better than mediocre. It's actually kind of this, good and weird. It's so a, it is a Super Metroid up. style game. Which one? Super uh, Michael Jordan's Chaos in the Windy City. That's a Metroidvania. Yep. What is this world? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. It's not of. totally contiguous the way that uh, Metroid is, but the levels are explored. They're, oh, they're kind of big open. And you levels. have to find like things that let you unlock doors and to move on and things. Yeah. It's actually, like I said, it's actually surprisingly playable and interesting. Um, it's one of the, it's like one of those weird license things that should be fucking garbage um, and isn't. And it also oh, has weird product placement and stuff in it that is, it, that, that's a fucking crazy game. Um, anyway, Super Nintendo, it's pretty good. I'm not going to pay $80 to play a bunch of games I already own, but... Um, there is no listing for off road at all <laughs> in in this co op. Uh, they might have database. started. They might have only started with more recent systems. Anyway, well, there's an option for classic mystery? in their search engine, but like it doesn't. Also, isn't that technically competitive multiplayer, or does it not matter for this? No, Coptimus I think lists everything, but um, anyway. That's some Super Nintendo games. I'm glad I always like to talk about Super Nintendo stuff. It's yeah. a great system. Yep. It is. Oh, Maybe the best. Chrono Trigger. You know, Wild Guns would have been a pretty cool thing to put on there. Well, they just like kind of remade and re-released that for modern systems, oh, which is Oh, yeah, wild. you're right. It's still, that's a fun game, though. It is. True right. story. That's it. Um, so, well, I don't know. We'll be back next week with something. Mike might stream. We What's will. that game you just picked up, Mike? Dead Cells. It's real good. Is it? Oh, yeah. At some point, I would like to do a Stellaris stream, but I've only put about an hour into that. So, um, I don't know. We'll we'll do a co-op civilization building thing. That'll be Ooh. real fun. We'll make some bird men or some fungus, some communist fungus guys or something. Who's going to play with you? Kurt? Huh? No, you guys are going to help me build a civilization. Oh, I see. In, okay. in the an intergalactic civilization. Ooh. Yeah, that'll be good. Anyway, that's it. I'm ending the stream. Uh, thanks look forward for hanging to out it, everybody. Us. Super Nintendo. Thumbs Sega up. Genesis. When I was just a little kid. <laughs> no, I was dead broke. Man, I couldn't picture this. <laughs>